Hi, my name is Fabio Lattanzi and I am a Senior Storage Solutions Architect at AWS. In this video, I will introduce you to the main Amazon S3 access management and security features. By default, your S3 buckets are private. Identities outside your AWS account have no access to your S3 resources. In order to prevent incorrect access configurations making your buckets publicly accessible, we recommend to enable S3 block public access on your AWS account. Block public access ensures that there is no public access to any object and it will be enabled by default for newly created buckets after April 2023. Amazon S3 provides multiple mechanisms for access management. IAM policies, S3 bucket policies, and S3 access control lists. ACLs predate AWS identity and access management. It's the legacy method to manage cross-account access to S3 resources. We recommend to disable ACLs to simplify cross-account access management. Disabling ACLs, all objects will be owned by you and bucket policies will apply to all objects in your bucket. ACLs will be disabled by default for newly created buckets after April 2023. Amazon S3 supports client-side encryption, encryption in transit, and encryption at rest. S3 automatically encrypts all new objects with S3 managed keys. If you want to manage key policies and key rotation, you should use AWS KMS with customer managed keys. And finally, if you want to add an additional layer of protection against object deletion, or if you need to meet regulatory requirements to store immutable data, you can enable Amazon S3 object lock. Thank you for taking the time to learn the basics of Amazon S3 access management and security.